Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all for tuning in to the, uh, uh, I should say, every other month meeting of the Community Development uh, Advisory Board. This may be new to some of you out there in the audience, so I want to tell you that this particular board, the City of Jacksonville Community Development Program, will seek to create a better life for all citizens of the city. To achieve this mission, we will foster programs throughout the city and within specific target areas of the city for economic development, neighborhood revitalization, affordable housing, the elimination of slight and blight, slum and blight, excuse me, efforts to address homelessness and other programs designed to build a quality of life, better quality of life for all citizens of Jacksonville. That is basically the charter of this particular board. We do have a quorum, so I will call the meeting to order. If you would, would you please give us an uh, invocation? That's great. Most holy and all I have God, our Heavenly Father, we thank you for this opportunity to call upon your holy name. Father God, we thank you for this opportunity for going down through our daily occupations. You kept loving our protection around us. We ask you to bless this meeting that it will be a success. Father God, we ask you in the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you, Gordon. The first that we have is the adoption of the agenda. The agenda, which I believe everyone did receive by email. And uh, at this motion, do I have a motion for adoption? Motion to move. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. The agenda is passed, and we will go ahead and start working from that. The next mo item is the approval of minutes of January 29th. Again, everyone did receive it by email or by mail. Do I have a motion to accept? So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 So passed. The minutes of January 29th are official as written. Now, if I could, Grover, would you give us a planning board update? Yeah, just one thing from the planning board. Uh, the planning board uh, uh, approved and recommended to the city for approval the special use permit for uh, to uh, the uh, uh, homeless shelter, Onslow uh, uh, Community Outreach, uh, for use as a homeless shelter, the old Piggly Wiggly on Hargett Street. Uh, the special use permit is because of the location, its proximity in, 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 into uh, uh, residential housing areas. So. They've asked uh, with they've approved the, the board approved the, the the special use permit and also to, to recommend adjustment to the UDO so they would reflect uh, uh, some changes that will allow the use of that uh, as uh, designated by the outreach center. So that's that's the one thing that might have some uh, some uh, bearing to this uh, com to this committee. So yeah. That's all I have. Yeah. And I do understand that Oslo Communi Community Ministries is has a major fund drive. Yeah. to come up with the specific funding to renovate that facility, not just for homeless, but also to take care of the uh, Christmas cheer evolutions, right. yes. the soup kitchen, and, and many of the fun in fact, all of the functions that are in fact being done down at Court Street right now. Right, they've kind of outgrown their, yeah. their, their, mm -hmm. their current their facility. So. Yeah, and the parking is much better than what they have downtown. Right. So. so that is now in front of the, the city council for their the review. And, and it's a good point for all the citizens yes. to know that. Thank you. All right. That's all I have. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The action plan we met. Okay. Um, my name is Tracy Jackson. I want to tell you about the 2015-16 annual action plan. HUD has released the 2015-16 funding allocations, and the city of Jacksonville will receive approximately $345,602 in CDBG funding. This is $20,142 less than last year. We're in the process of finalizing our budget and anticipate funding the same kinds of activities next year. This includes administration, project delivery, residential rehab, demolition, and public services. The public facilities was also will also be included in the budget to assist with the Onslow Community Outreach Homeless Shelter. We received five non-construction applications for public services and one construction application. We want to thank Paula, 
Iris and Gloria for their assistance in reviewing the applications and their input. All have been recommended to receive funding and will be included in the annual action plan. The five are the Brigade Boys and Girls Club, Onslow Community Outreach, and also their construction project, Onslow United Transit, <coughs> Onslow Women's Center, and United Way. The action plan will be available for a 30-day public comment period from March 23rd, 2015 to April 20th, 2015. And that's all I have. And, and of course, we received the cut in the budget soon enough to incorporate that into the new action plan. That is correct. It, we can't do our five-year plan if mm -hmm. we didn't get the funds. That is correct. Okay. Thank you very much. Do you have the New River update also? I do have uh, the New River update as requested by the committee last time. A map of New River apartments that are impacted by the foreclosure is available um, for your review. Several of you all have reviewed it. Um, the foreclosure attorney is Hillcastle County in Stockton. The city has made contact, contact seeking information on the possibility of a parcel sale of the property. They were still working on recording the deed and no information has been received to date. So it's still in process. We don't have any, we do not have any formal plans yet. To amplify what Tracy's provided, uh, those particular projects are in fact the housing area that surrounds the New River Shopping Center. It encompasses approximately 900 units and it is currently owned by a company out of Virginia Beach, Virginia. Uh, this is an ongoing thing, but there could be a very positive point of light for all the residents there if this works out in, in a positive way. That is correct. Right. Now what we have is our advisory committee summit. Uh, several months ago, we actually had a meeting over at the youth center of all of the city's boards and commissions. And from that, in front of us we have a listing of what was provided as the most important thing to improve quality of life type things in the city of Jacksonville and what we have been asked is to provide our top three back to council is that correct Tracy that is correct now off to the side you see numbers what do those specific numbers mean I think these are the the number of comments received. In terms of when we went through and put the highlighted buttons? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah, the stars, the I just, stars, the yeah, stars. Just, okay. the stars. I just wanted to confirm that. Right. Yes. I, I did believe that, but I just wanted to confirm. Uh, basically, I'll begin with the first one because I actually believe that in order for Jacksonville to thrive, and the very first note we have is improve older developments, streets, sidewalks, and power lines. But we're talking about maintaining the infrastructure that was built and was intended to be maintained. Whether we're talking about the streets in Bryn Mawr, the streets down in the Bayshore area, or streets in Northwoods, those are all vital parts of Jacksonville and all areas that need development. Uh, and then as those developments happen, to get utility lines underground, like the brand new developments, so that when hurricanes hit, trees aren't taking out the power all over the place. Comments on the first one? From Oh, I, I brought it up because I actually, that's one of my things that I, I really believe in. I'm with you on that because how many areas do, do you know how many areas there are that they have the power lines on the ground? I know they do in my community, mm -hmm. but are there many more? I, like I, Northwood? Most, most no, Northwood's got power lines. But yeah, they're all over the place. Most and it sounds like there's the not many, made. though. Yeah. Uh, it is not. Does Bryn Mawr have them above? Because that would have been about the time that they were thinking putting of in. putting them underground in parts the mid 70s. Maybe some parts of it. Most of all the new apartments, I mean, new structures is Now the commons. All of the Bayshore area is above ground. Oh, see, that's what I'm saying. Okay. 
down to, a lot of downtown, but wherever there are new houses, new homes, mm -hmm. everything's underground. And I know our church has um, both, for some reason or another. I think part of the church is on the old line, and the rest of the church is underground. But, but the idea here is, and it goes back many times to the planning right. of the city mm -hmm. and all that, because it has to be coordinated when a street needs replaced. Right. That is the time to directly work with Progress Energy to, to come in after all the milling has been done and actually install. Every time they have to install a new sewer line, like they're doing up on Jarman in Northwoods right now. Mm -hmm. It's the prime opportunity for the other contractors to come in at limited cost and get it changed. Now, it's not something this board can do, but it is a recommendation that we can make to council so that they, in turn, tell our own planning that this is what we want to do. Seeing how we are in a hurricane area, mm -hmm. And it's always high winds that take out the power line and the yep. trees seem like that would be the main thing that we right. would concentrate on. And again, on. council is looking for our top three. And, and, and I, again, I brought that one up because that has been a major topic I've heard for years. I would agree with that. This being one of the three. Okay. May I ask that we have it, on just this one alone, a motion, a second, and we'll vote. Okay. I'll do a motion to approve the first one. I'll second a motion. All in favor? Aye. 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 Yeah. His hands, is that kind of, <clears throat> is that everybody? Yes. Aye. Okay. Aye. Okay. Aye. okay. Yeah. The number one, number two in the vote getting was a civic slash convention center. Uh, there, there's a lot of hopes that what is being built down at the Sturgeon City mm -hmm. potentially could fill that void of a civic center. And, and minimally, it would be something potentially to put on hold from this vote to build another because two facilities trying to provide the same mission <clears throat> probably there wouldn't be enough going on so both would fail I'm not trying to shorten anything I'm just saying that that the intent of that facility that's being built down there is that it's for large meetings. And it will be rented. And, and the only thing I would say on this one is I fully agree it's a great idea, but I don't think we need one in addition to Sturgeon City at this moment in time. Well, even the use of the county building the area that they have in the county building there they is possibility. Mm -hmm. So I would agree. If, if, and I have, I have a question. Are mm -hmm. we looking at this, Tracy or Stephen, as what our board thinks? Or was it individual? Individual. Because I, I think if we look at what our board stands for, some of this stuff I would cross out and mm -hmm. get to what our board, our mission was with our board. And that's how I'm looking at it. And I'm not sure, Stephen or yeah, I, Tracy, I, if that's how we should look at it. This is how you all view as the top. Yeah. As, as, individual, all, as right. No, as, as, a, as, as a this board. board. As right. As the board. Each advisory board or, or committee uh, has the same, same charge. Right, right, right. So uh, I'm, I'm not certain if they're looking at it in the vein of what they are uh, able to impact based uh -huh. on their mission as a, as a, as a, as board, a board or a committee. And, and, and so I'm not sure if that's how we ought to be looking at this in, in that vein. Uh, so uh, I know uh, the planning board has the same charge, and we'll be looking at this. And, and I'm not certain what the what the uh, the, the chairman is going to how the, the marching orders is right. going to be. As community development, and of course, I, I read our mission statement because you know the, 
the people, the audience, televised audience, really at times doesn't know what we do. And that first one we approved fits so well into what our charter, our mission is. So, and I am open to, if, if we take out certain things, I have no problem on any part of that. I think at the last meeting we were, um, it was suggested that we look at things that we as a board could get behind. Mm -hmm. right. um, not so much things that may not have anything to do with us as a board, but just the things that fall within our purview. Mm -hmm. And so I think that, that was um, a what Lori is saying is, and what Grover is saying is something that we should look at. Because we thought, didn't we discuss all these at the meeting in right. December? That's yes, so we did. if we go back and discuss them again, yeah, this will be well, your I job. Don't, I don't think we need to do that. <laughs> right. I some that. Yeah. You all just need to <laughs> vote, three vote on that we like. three, the top yeah, three that you the like. The top three that we would like. So we have number one already. Number one is already. Right. <clears throat> and quicker street repairs and improvement infrastructure. Those go right under the one that we just did, number one. Infrastructure and all that, mm -hmm. wouldn't it? So those are up. So, Lori, do you have an idea of your top three? Or? Well, well, my second one would be, to, for our board purposes, what we're looking at is the increase of industrial and, and manufacturer jobs. Uh, the second two that are up there, the Civic Convention, like Stephen said, that's something that's already in the works. Mm -hmm. A public pool yeah. uh, on the Parks and Rec Board, we have looked at that and, and sent our, our thoughts to the mm -hmm. committee, uh, excuse me, to the council last year. Um, as a citizen, to me, we have a beach and we have some other opportunities for a pool in the area. So I, I would disagree with that, but I would I would look at the um, increase of jobs um, and uh, leadership engagement in lower income communities. Yeah, I, I'm along with you there. So that, that would be my suggestions, just looking at what our, our purpose is for mm -hmm. our board, looking at what's maybe achievable that mm -hmm. I could get behind sitting on this board. Those would be my suggestions. Bold, does not bold solicit businesses? Uh, that's the and imagine uh, other. That's the economic development areas area. also. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> that just crossed my mind. Bold for some reason. Oh, yeah, that's. I think they do that strictly downtown. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. development within the downtown area. Definitely. Support urban community. community. Yeah. Um, I was looking at um, better control of housing development. I was not sure whether we would have any impact on that or not, but that seems like it might fit. I'm not sure about it. I'm not certain if we have a lot of Y'all do that already. The, They've done a lot of things. Yeah. As yeah. far as those apartments. That, and mm -hmm. I could agree. Oh. But you know the the whole thing. It's affordable housing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what we're interested in. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. The idea of quicker street repairs and improved infrastructure. Same thing. Almost go oh, in the one. very first, first one. Mm -hmm. That's what I was saying. Yeah, and, and I do believe that the city manager uh, explained that they've kind of changed their philosophy of how they. Uh, label which streets will right. be going uh, which streets uh, will need the, uh, the repair and they've 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 undergo, un undergone a, a change and that philosophy will allow them to do more streets and, okay. and so so i think that they they've already kind of tackled that a, a little bit or they are tackling that a little bit okay. trying to be more efficient and and in in, in in getting more done and getting them done uh, quicker so What about better traffic control? That, I think that's they're in the middle of doing that. They're in the middle of doing that. Well, and that's because they put in the uh, traffic cameras and they're monitoring the uh, traffic flow through the major. Now it's going to be growing, but uh, it's called IT, you know, the, the intelligent traffic system. Right. Yeah. It's not intelligent on Henderson. Because <laughs> uh, I can't even get out of my mm -hmm. school. Sometimes because once yeah. they put that uh, the veteran center there, the new office building behind the Longhorn Steakhouse, and that other one that they're building right at the front, I cannot even get out. And I'm right there by Dr. Morgan okay. on Cardinal. I cannot get out. Mm. They're gonna have to put a stop like that once they open up those buildings. Well, I think because it's terrible. Everybody takes that when they have to yeah. come through. Yeah. 
I'm not certain, but I think at, at every point that they add additional buildings on, on some, some busy uh, uh, streets, mm -hmm. they well, reevaluate like, come right what now. is needed to help the traffic flow. Mm -hmm. uh, and so, that is stuff so, part of right. every site plan. Right. Yeah. When they do the complete routing and all that through the city, uh, the city gets with DOT. DOT, in fact, does do the study. So, But for our point here, I'm coming up with top three. Okay. Let's see. I, I, I would love to put, you know, additional emphasis on the increased industry and manufacturing jobs. You know, if, if there was anything we could do, yeah. You know, to give Sheila Pierce a, a little extra support with economic development to get those folks in. I mean, but I don't know what we can do. I, I know that council might be able to provide, and maybe what we're doing is just giving them additional emphasis. Hmm. I think one meeting we was in that last meeting we was in it said something about the uh, reason they got a lot of businesses here because of the railway. And the, uh, the streets the mm -hmm. interstates that we need to come in. Yeah. And uh, that has a problem I'm, with it. I well, think they have no way in and out. So, and the types of jobs. 24 about that. The types of jobs. I know it's sort of mm -hmm. like standardized. Yes. You're talking about industry. Yeah. We're not talking about food stuff like you yeah. got on Western Boulevard. We've got standardized and line safety appliances. Right. About something it. that makes and something. Gosh. Yeah. We, we could use more. Could do use we want to give counsel? I would think so because I'm looking at it as far as the base is concerned. Why can't we produce a lot of things that our base would use? Mm -hmm. There's a lot of coils, stuff for the Humvees, or you know, little things that they make and send into the state. We could make them right here. Lauren, that was one of my Rover? that was one of my my items I picked. So okay. mine too. I, I'm in there. I, uh, I move for us to vote on that one then. Yeah. May I have a motion on the increased industry and manufacturers jobs? I make a motion that we vote on increased industry and manufacturer jobs. Okay. Second. 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 All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. That's our number two. And for everyone here, what I've done is circle quicker street repairs and improve infrastructure with an arrow going up to the top one, okay. improve older developments, because I think that's all hand in hand. It has to be mm -hmm. from the planning side. And now we look for one number, more number three that we want to provide. That is shop. I'm, I'm with Lori on her number three, more leadership engagement in lower income communities. And to Which one? Uh, more in leadership engagement in lower income communities. Okay. Uh, to, to, to the specifics, I mean, that, that's still to be determined. I was trying to think of what uh, were some of the comments uh, when we had the, uh, the, the, uh, the seminar uh, to mm -hmm. initially come up with this. And, uh, I think it was, was more that if if uh, city officials are out and engaged in the community more, that uh, the, the the community will have a sense that you know they, they are concerned about uh, what, what direction we're going in and the city, uh, their welfare and all. But uh, uh, I, I think that if we can do anything on this committee, that would be one of the things that we can encourage. We can do uh, either ourselves as representatives or. Uh, uh, in, encouraging the city council and uh, uh, city management at that uh, large. So, I'm with question, you on that. Colonel Lewis. Yes, would that include, uh, say, like in that would be more, um, what's it called, town hall meetings or something yeah. like that, uh, uh, and invite the whole community to come out to well, discuss? Well, all of that. And, and I know that, that the uh, community development uh, does a lot of that. Right. How, however, uh, I think if we have some uh, the, the the city leadership backing mm -hmm. of those more of that, then perhaps those would go a little bit better. Yeah. In certain mm -hmm. areas are not well attended. Yeah. About was it five years ago, mm -hmm. we actually did have reps from street department, sanitation, oh, right. and so did. Yeah. About five years ago, and, and we went, it was about we went and, on, and did every geographical community. Mm -hmm. You know, I, 
the unfortunate part was, you know, that there was a poor number of, you know, five or six people <laughs> that went to every, you know, and I'm not, I'm talking about the audience. Right, right, right. That went to every single one of them. Mm -hmm. Much in the same way as the answers on the five-year plan, right. when we went to different areas, it'd be the same person showing up so to give the same input, input right. at that. Yes. I don't know. I don't know. I do too. Yeah, but, but I also agree with you. The, the, the leadership engagement. Uh, yeah. This being broadcast on television, I don't know anybody that doesn't have a television. I don't. And, uh, yeah, you do have a television. Actually, <laughs> I know a lot of people so, don't know that. So, that that so they get this, if they have access right. to this information. Okay, so this is uh, number three. I will accept the motion uh, for more leadership engagement in lower income communities. I make a motion that we include more leadership engagement in lower income communities as our third okay. option. Do I have a second? A second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Okay. Well, thank you all very much. I'm on board. And I know, Tracy, you've got okay. good notes too, right? Yes. All right. Okay, the next item is the monthly report project updates. I would like to report that I've been working directly with the students of our last home buyer education um, class to increase their credit scores to qualify for home mortgages. Currently, there is a client that has selected a floor plan and construction has begun at 310 Court Street. There is another potential home buyer who will be ready to submit an application this month and will be referred to a lender to begin that process. I wanted to also report that the rehabilitation project um, for the last two projects that we have that we did or completed also received bids on the current rehab project and will be awarding the contract soon. We also wanted to mention that we sent letters informing the Mortarwood community of assistance available um, to eligible homeowners and investors in case they want to um, get some help in improving that neighborhood over there. Our demolition projects are ongoing along with our code enforcement activities and our next home buyer education course will be held on Saturday, March 21st, 2015 from eight to five here at City Hall. Interested citizens should call 938-5286 to register and the cost is $10 per person. Um, eligible clients who qualify may have access to up to 15, up to 15% of the purchase price and down payment assistance and other incentives targeted to the downtown area. Yeah, that's all we have. Yeah. Thank you, Tracy. Next, I need to okay. next. Do we question. have any? I'm sorry. I just want to know where is Myrtlewood? Myrtlewood is by the um, college. By where? the college. Over by the college. Behind, uh, behind, behind Popeyes. It's the behind the bank. Behind the bank. Behind the bank. Behind the bank. Okay, I know where the Cut Club is, but I know where Myrtlewood is. Sears is. Yeah, Sears. Right okay. across the highway from Sears. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's, it's right behind it's the Auto Bright. But it's car wash and all that. Yes. Area. Yeah. They're all townhomes. Yeah. That's what I assumed, but it wasn't there. So mm -hmm. I was thinking for some reason with downtown someplace. I don't know. I had to look yeah. at a wall to see it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. I've never seen the sign. Okay. That's why. Mm -hmm. What we have next are items for our next agenda. So uh, if, if, if you don't think of any, please feel free to call Tracy yes. at any point in time and let her know that you have a thought that you want brought up at the next meeting. That is correct. And what happens is they will send it to me ahead of time. I look at it. It reminds me if, if I want to put something on there and I'll contact uh, Tracy or Lily. Uh, let them know we're, we're good to go at that point. No, my, my agenda, I don't know. That park. Okay. And the animal control um, oh. people. And, um, oh, in Georgetown? No. Right downtown. 
Oh, okay. Well, I was yeah, saying, yeah, I was thinking about that before. Yeah, and, and, and the cats and downtown. Yeah, not, not cats. The cats. The animals. Dogs. Animal and and their dogs and, loose. and yeah, well, and loose. how they don't don't um, adhere to any um, regulations. Mm -hmm. We talked about the possibility of maybe posting some regulations so that they understand that you know you walk your dog on a leash it's not a come here boy and, and you just let him go mm. so you're saying post yeah. some signage some mm. signage or um maybe more patrols or the dog. i mean that's part of code enforcement mm -hmm. which is part mm -hmm. of what we do what cd does mm -hmm. correct um doesn't seem to be working is that down at river walk crossing mm -hmm. and wilson bay park um, I would imagine it happens in other parks too. I mean, you see it yeah. in the one that's across the street from me because I live there. But Riverwalk. Um, mm -hmm. And at the Commons. You said at the Commons too. Yes, Lord. Okay, I didn't okay. know that. Some lady has some mm -hmm. rock wallers out there. She's, they won't bother you. No, they sure won't. I mean, they were that tall, and the kids were running around the side. I just took my grandson off the play park. We went around the other side and got in the car. I'll bring that because up I to think you should have a chain or something on. I'll bring it up to my parks and rec board. Oh, there's thank a, you. There's a leash. They should have be on a leash. Law. It's not yeah. hold my leash in my hand and my and dog the dog is out there. And, and what it happens too? Your dog. I suppose we can get uh, Gary's phone mm -hmm. number and call him correct. He's normally yes. out in his pickup. Yes. And go around immediately if he's out in his truck and give you him a see. citation. Aerial yeah, you have to catch them though in, in yeah. the act, and uh, yeah. sometimes it's hard. It's very hard to do. If they see the truck, then they have you know like they all catch a truck. Days and Sundays. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, that's, that's, you know, that's about that. that. If the dog yeah. then yeah. reached the fence, that probably would not have happened. Exactly. Like, mm -hmm. He would have used some gravity to get some water from the last time he had that floor. Mm -hmm. Steve, I got a question about this, Tracy. Is, is, uh, is there any part of the city entertaining anything about purchasing any of these properties? Not at this time, not that we know of. Um, I know that they're still trying to get the deed. Um, situated as far as the foreclosure process. That's the information that we have at this time. The, who knows? I mean, if, if there's enough advertisement of this, somebody like Atlantic Marine Corps communities or something like that, somebody who's very large could potentially come in, you know, buy it and, and do what they have done right in terms of demolition and brand new energy efficient mm -hmm. housing units that are for rent to the public you know much like what they're doing inside the gate i mean that's that's like planting a seed right no i didn't understand i didn't know if um the city was entertaining anything no, i don't think mm -hmm. so there's there's a lot on their plate for it is. oh yeah who would the, uh, the person to look into or uh, talk to about uh, dog park to that actually be, build one build. that is a that that would really be part of the recreation. We've, we've discussed it. Mm -hmm. We have it on our, our plans. Yeah. A lot of the uh, communities that are being built now are starting to have their own dog parks, but. It's one of the items that we have on our agenda to yeah. look at. The closest one is right down at Oslo Beach, Camp Lejeune, in mm -hmm. the camping area. <laughs> yeah. there, there is a fenced dog park. Well, mm -hmm. there's the different apartment complexes have one. Yes. You know, yeah. my location in Williamsburg Plantation, we have one. Mm -hmm. So. You know, people should, I mean, you should be able to walk your dog. Anyway. That is not a problem. Right. I walk mine, but I carry a bag. Mm -hmm. um, or two, yeah. um, and he doesn't run off a leash. Walk your dog anywhere. I mean, I have that, I have no problem with that. Mm -hmm. um, but I do follow the. There are rules, so if there are rules, we should follow the rules. Okay. I shouldn't have to stand. I'm not going to stand at my door and, with my phone and take pictures of my neighbors or people who um, don't adhere to the the rules that's that's just unfair to me i think and the kids who are playing in the park and um 
ride their bikes and skate and whatever else they do. It's just, it's, it's not being a good master. You're not doing what you're supposed to be doing. So I think what we're looking for, Tracy, is just an agenda item that says signage, you know, animal signage. Okay. Could you also add to that, what can you keep in certain neighborhoods? Now, over in Northwood, this man has bought a goat. I'm not lying. Well, those you can't. Hmm? Those you cannot. I mean, I've, I already know Wait a minute. Him. I'm not finished. Okay. Last night, my grandson came running in the house. There was a pig outside over where I live on Cardinal. There was a pig running across, and another man was chasing him. I do know there's a lady behind me that has a chicken coop. But I heard that you could keep chickens. Is you that have true? chickens. No room. Because he's been walking across the street, but he's going to somebody's yeah. plot. Yeah. So uh, uh, my neighbor says she's been trying to catch him. The, the chicken <laughs> just walking across. <laughs> but the pig, I I wanted to find out. That's why I want to get here tonight to find out if you can have what animal. Because when I moved out there on my orders, and I was out there when it was closed in, dead in. I've been out there like almost thirty five years. And it was certain things you couldn't keep chickens or, you know, anything like that out in what we call uh, Miners Willow Woods also. But now the chicken, I do understand because she got them in the coop, but they get out from time to time. But the pig, I don't understand. And that was last night. When the moon was shining, the pig was running. I mean, what we will do is I have staff contact you, um, the chief code enforcement officer, and he will give you the... Tonight. Well, I think I think they changed um, as far as that. Yeah, but he, he, but um, the um, he will get back with you and he will let you know exactly what the ordinance says that will change, or yeah. what he can enforce. Okay, because I was scared to go outside. I don't want to see my pig. And Ray said the goat is in Northwood behind the house. He said, and I had to tell him that you can't have a goat out here. He said, but sis, when you go downtown, he's one of my uh, fraternal brothers. He said, look, would you please find out if you can have a goat in the Northwood? And what I'll do is I'll have him uh, him respond to me, and then I'll send it via email to the to the committee. Okay, so thank you. Will be on the same I appreciate page. it. Thank you, Tracy. Okay. Good. You know, tell them what they have. Next. Any <laughs> other agenda <laughs> items for our next meeting? As far as I know, we just have the animal signage in the parks. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. And, and you're going to tell us also you know what animals are you know, email me. within the city limits yes. cool. right. Right. Email city right. <laughs> our Thank next you. meeting is thursday may 7th 2015. Okay. and of course the other dates are up there on the board right now Steve, i have an yes. uh, announcement you all should have received um ever do well you all will be receiving invitations to the volunteer appreciation recognition dinner it will be held um, April the 14th at 6 p.m. at Renee's Courthouse Cafe. Um, those invitations will be sent out. Okay. Make sure that you are RSVP if you're going to be attended. Okay? They haven't went out yet, but they will be going okay. out. So please make sure you RSVP. And what Tracy's talking about is uh, there are multiple boards and commissions that work within the city of Jacksonville on different items. And once a year, there is a recognition meeting of all those members. Uh, many times there's a five year, 10 year, 15 year pin given out. And uh, it's to let you, the public know that the hard work these board members do is 100% voluntary and we are here to help the city but the city wants to also recognize that we are doing these things. Okay. May I have a motion to adjourn? I move that we adjourn this meeting until May 7th. All in favor? Aye. Aye. This meeting is adjourned. Okay.